Today I'm going to write a basic app to capture the text from a text box. So create a new Xcode project, single view application, next, call it grab some text. You can call it what you like, but that's what I'm calling mine. Grab some text. Save it to documents. Full screen. So we're not using story <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we're not using storyboards by the way. Uh, go to viewcontroller.xib. Go go into the assistant editor. Click on the XIB. I'm going to drag on a button. Round rec button. Gonna call it grab. And I'm going to put in a text field at the top. Align it to the HIG guidelines. Got sorry guides. Uh, or guideline guides, whatever. Uh, there you go. Click on the text box. Go to the attributes inspector. Align it centered. Placeholder text. We're going to put type something, then tap grab button. Okay. That just hints the user to. That just gives the user a hint to uh, Q to. Um, click on the text box and type something in. Finally, I'm going to put a label on. So we can see what we're grabbing. Stretch it across so it's exactly the same width as the text box. Center justify that. Delete the text in there. I'm going to put dot 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 in there so people know it's actually there. Now then, next you want to make sure your viewcontroller.h is visible. Get the text box, highlight it, make sure it's selected. Control, click and drag from the text box to just under the at interface. Now this is that we're connecting an outlet to the uh, header file, the viewcontroller header file, so we're calling that um, text content. Connect it. Click and select the label. Click and drag under get under the property for the text box. Call it text show. Okay. Select the grab button. Control drag underneath the final property and give it the name of grab text and change the connection to action because we're it's an action the clicking action okay so now I'm going to create another uh, assistant editor and make it the view controller dot m you see here is the um, the complement to the IB action grab text. Here it is actually. The is we need to tell it how to implement this action. So what we do, we say when the person taps this button grab, which is what this action is. Uh, this action method is doing is that action method is telling the uh, the view controller what to do. When we tap the button, it says. The label is sorry, no, completely wrong. Create an NS string. NS string, call it message, and the star means as a pointer equals double square bracket opening. NS string unlock in it with format, and the format is at sign open double quotes 
percentage at sign for a string, close double quotes, comma, and then it's text content. Oops, I haven't I haven't synthesized these. Um, so I need to synthesize those. Sorry. At synthesize text content. At synthesize text show. Oh, they're done now. We're actually synthesizing these properties here. We're telling the viewcontroller.main file that these exist. Okay. So let's go back in and start that again. It's a bit here. What we do, an S string, which is called message, is an S string alloc allocate memory initialize memory in it with format and the format is percent at sign text content dot text sorry not dot text just text and then finish that And then we send a message to the label text show set text message. So what's going on here is this. Let me just make this a bit bigger so you can see it. We're basically let me straighten this out first. I'm very fussy about my UI looking straight. So basically what we're doing is when this button's clicked, it calls a method called IB action, which is here and here, from this bit here to the here, in between these curly braces. Uh, we're creating an NS string pointer called message, and the contents of that pointer are a new NS string with a format of a string. Okay, so we're, called, so we're creating a, me a message. We're creating a string called message. We're creating memory in memory for a string, and we're calling the string message. And then we're saying initialize with format string, and then we're filling that string with the contents of this box here, which is called text content. Text content text. So basically, we're saying fill the string pointer with whatever's in the text box and then we're sending a message to the, um, <coughs> the label here called text show we're saying set your text to the string message which we created here okay so if we run this we'll see something unusual well something undesirable so if I click on here I can't get rid of the keyboard. Right? Okay. Stop the simulator. Tell you what that is. Because I need to resign first responder. That means when I have taken the focus off the text box, when I'm no longer tapping on it, I need to resign first responder. So, which means basically anywhere else that, is, that the user taps, apart from the text box, the keyboard should slide out of the way. So what I do, when I go around rec button, drag it onto here, make it very big, so it's usually the size of the view, in fact it's bigger, and then I right click it, where is it, view, center back oh man anyway for the moment we'll forget that we'll scrap that part so 
I now click on the text box, if I want the text box to tell the the um, view controller that when the return button is pressed, let me just go through it again. For example, click on there, press the return button, this should slide down, the keyboard should move out of the way, which it isn't, as you can see. So I need to tell that I need to tell the, this box to tell the uh, I need to delegate I need to call a delegate and get the delegate to move the uh, keyboard. So what I do now, click on there, go to the Connections Inspector. The delegate uh, what's the plus sign here? Control click and drag to files owner. Let go. Nothing pops up. So now I go to the Quick Help Inspector while selecting the text box. Click on UI Text Field Class Reference. To click on UI text field delegate protocol. Text field should return. Click on that. Text field should return. Ask the delegate if the text field should process the pressing of the return button. I like that. Copy. Under the IB action grab text, which is our processing of the button being pressed, 